Okay, let's take a look at the first political parties and how they were formed uh, under the new constitution. And you have Alexander Hamilton, who was really a leader of the Federalist Party, and then Thomas Jefferson of the Democratic Republican Party, or the Anti-Federalist, you can call them. What were the differences between the two parties? Okay, Alexander Hamilton of the Federalists favored trade, manufacturing, and cities. He believed that the federal government should have more power than the states. Also believed in a loose interpretation of the Constitution and was for the British. All right, Thomas Jefferson now more believed in more states' rights and having a less strong federal government, so favored farmers and rural communities, believed that the states should have more power than the federal government, so stronger states' rights, believed in a strict interpretation of the Constitution, and also sided more with the French. Uh, as we can remember, the British and the French are always constantly at war with one another, and early on, America kind of has to take sides sometimes. Okay, Federalists, led by Alexander Hamilton, wanted a strong central government led by industry and the wealthy. Emphasis on manufacturing, shipping, and trade. All right, loose interpretation of the Constitution. Favored a national bank. Had protective tariffs. And was pro-British. Now, the Democratic Republicans, led by Thomas Jefferson, wanted a strong state governments, led by the common man. Had emphasis on agriculture. Strict interpretation of the Constitution, opposed the National Bank, opposed protective tariffs, and led more towards the French or was pro-French.